Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to design a forum signature on Photoshop. It's extremely easy and also very useful because a lot of forums nowadays are allowing signatures. So you can add your own graphic artwork with perhaps your name and some text and some cool and funky images. So I'm going to be showing you some effects to use on your signature as well. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up Adobe Photoshop. Wait for it to load. And we want to create a new document. So we go to File uh, and New or Control N on the keyboard. And this box will pop up. So select the width and the height that you want. In this case, it's in pixels. That's what I usually work with. Select the color mode. Our RGB color 8-bit should work fine. And select the background. So we've got transparent. Transparent's good. Once you're happy with the settings, press OK. The, uh, the image will load up and as you can see we've got layer one so we're going to go over to the arrow tool now and we're going to go down to the background or gradient tool to get to the different one press and hold down so for this we want gradient so we're going to click on gradient and now we're going to go up to the top where we should see our gradient options click on that and we've got the gradient editor we can go and select the one that we like the look of. I quite like this light fading blue, uh, light to dark blue, um, or dark to light blue. But once you're happy, press OK. Now on the keyboard, you want to press down on Shift and then drag down with the mouse. Let go with the mouse and then let go of the Shift key. Um, a little tip, try and have the darker color at the bottom if you're having a gradient effect. So we can go and click Edit, Transform, and flip vertical. So we're going to flip that layer, and as you can see, it's now flipped over, and the dark, uh, the dark color, the darker color is on the bottom. We're going to now create a new layer. Click new layer, and layer two has now been created. We're going to go over to the brushes. We're going to add a brush. If you haven't seen my previous video, the annotation is in the corner, uh, telling you how to install brushes and how to use brushes. Um, so go ahead and select the brush that you want. Um, in this case, I'm going to go with uh, Matrix which is down here, okay. It may ask you if you want to replace the current brushes, click OK, and select the brush that you like the look of, and you can change the size by dragging across. Once you're happy, drag it over to a certain posi position in the image and click. Um, and as you can see, it's appeared. Go back to the arrow tool, and it's appeared in black. So if you wanted to change that color, you can now go over to the layer, double click the layer, and it will open up the uh, layer styles box. Um, you can click color overlay and it will change the color. So we can click on the red and drag the mouse around until you like the look of the color. As you can see I quite like the look of white. You can drag it around however you want and select the color that you, you like the look of. I'm going to go for white. I quite like the white. Um, once you're happy with everything press OK. And as you can see it's quite strong so we can change the opacity, we can ch change the strength of the layer by going up here and uh, typing in the new one. So we've halved it, we've taken it down to 50% and that looks better. We're now going to add some text, so go down to the sidebar and press on the T for text. Um, wait for it to load, it may take a bit of time and uh, once it's loaded you'll see this up here. Select the font that you want, I'm going to choose complete in him and select the size 120 is slightly too big, 72 looks good, and then simply type what you want, so your screen name on your forums or whatever it is. Um, you can change the colour by going up, uh, and again I quite like white on here so I'm going to leave it on white. Press OK once you're happy with that, and to centrally align it you press Ctrl A on the keyboard, and you'll see these marching ants going round the outside of the image, and then make sure it's on the mouse, and select uh, align horizontal vertical, uh, uh, sorry, align horizontal and vertical center. So you press both of them. So it's aligned it in the very center of our image. To deselect it again, press the selection tool and click outside. And as you can see, the marching ants have disappeared. Sorry. Um, go back to the arrow, and uh, there we go. You can add some effects by opening the layer style on the text. So we're going to add outer glows, change the opacity, the noise, and the color, etc. You can add a color or a gradient overlay. I'm going to add a uh, slightly silvery um, gradient overlay. 
Um, you can add a bevel and, embe and emboss if you want. You can add a drop shadow, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to change the opacity to 100%. Um, and really play around on the layer styles. Once you're happy, press OK. And there we go. That's our uh, forum signature. Have fun, play around, and thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, please subscribe.